the equipment that you put in at a small office or a home office is not going to be the same equipment that you'll have at your corporate facility. There's obviously a big difference in the size and the cost associated with those things. So you're not going to use an exact duplicate of what you're running at your corporate facility. After all, you don't have the same size of the network. There's different power requirements and limitations that you have in a Soho. You've got different environments that you're dealing with. And there's a financial trade-off as well. Because you have a smaller device, it costs less to get that device into a small office or a home office. But obviously, there may be fewer features associated with that. Even though it's less expensive, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be as good as the more expensive device. And obviously, this doesn't have to be cutting edge. You've got a limited number of people that you're supporting, so you generally don't need fiber connections, a lot of redundancy built in, a lot of support for advanced communications. Whatever this device is doing has a relatively small impact on the entire network in your corporation. You just have to make sure it's able to handle the requirements for that small office or home office. In your corporate environment, the devices that you're putting in are designed for multi-gigabit speeds, a lot of connectivity, a lot of traffic going through them. But at a small office and a home office, you don't have those same requirements. So already the device that you are getting is not one that's going to support the high-speed networks that you might have at a corporate facility. But they do have the throughput and the capabilities that you'll need for small office or home office. So although the device is much smaller and it's designed to handle fewer people, it still has the requirements you need to be able to run your business in that Soho. In your Soho, there's also a difference in the type of redundancy that you need. If your network goes down, you simply wait until the network comes back up again and you continue to work. There's no need to have multiple ISPs. You generally don't need different pieces of equipment should one fail that another one is able to kick in. And usually these smaller devices don't even allow you or provide that type of functionality. It, usually you have an extra device in the closet. If this one fails, you simply pull the new one out of the closet and plug it in. Or you have the corporate site send you another one and you're down for the day. Because the impact is so small, you don't have to worry so much about that redundancy being in place and making sure that your network is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If your support team ever needs to connect to these devices, they're usually doing it from a web-based front end. These smaller devices don't have a lot of different management options available to them. Usually it's all done from a web page. There's not a lot of command line. There's not a lot of diagnostics you can do. It either works or it doesn't work. And they're usually calling you in the Soho to ask you what colors of lights you happen to see on the front of the router because there's no other way to know what's happening from the command line. There's no other way to know what's happening from the web-based front end. And in a Soho, you don't have a lot of options for upgradability. You're usually limited by the amount of internet bandwidth that's coming into your home or coming into the building. So you don't really have to plan for much growth. The router that you have now is probably going to be able to support you for many, many years to come. By keeping these limitations in mind, you can be sure that the equipment that you get for your small office or home office will be perfectly designed for your requirements.